The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. In listen-only mode. Good morning and welcome to the Contours Travel Patagonia webinar featuring the wonderful Tierra Patagonia property. My name is Rob and I'm going to be running through a little bit about the um, about Patagonia in Portugal in Patagonia and more specifically about the Tierra Patagonia Hotel, which is located in the Torres del Paine region of southern Chile. Okay, so where we're looking at, we're looking at this beautiful landscape here with the um, Los Cuernos or the, the horns um, at the back of the Torres del Paine. So to travel to Torres del Paine, you've got several options. One of the most convenient being flying from Santiago to Chile, Okay, all the way down to the south to either Puerto Natales or Puerto Reynos. On the next map, I'll indicate the easiest and best ways to enter into the National Park. Okay, so as I mentioned, flying down from Santiago down to Puerto Natales, there's a, a flight that operates there around four times a week with Latam Airlines. Also daily, multiple flights down to Puerto Reynos. And from both of those um, cities, you can organise a transfer in, which is provided as part of the all inclusive programs of Tierra Patagonia, reach to the hotel. Okay, so Puerto Natales, which is um, around just over an hour away, or Punta Rose, which is about four and a half to five hours away. Flying time from Santiago is around about just over three hours. As an alternative, you can also travel in to Punta Rose on the um, on the cruises, and then from there travel up, or you can travel in from El Calafate um, across the border and into Chile and into the into Tierra Patagonia. So there's varying ways of how to get to reach to Tierra Patagonia. And the south of Chile, um, the Patagonian region, um, is absolutely stunningly beautiful. It's all about the, the nature, the glaciers, the forests, the wildlife. Um, this is Wanako um, here, which is part of the um, the family. You've got the the rears or the Andes in this picture, and you've got the stunning Grey Glacier, which is one of the um, excursions that you can undertake whilst in Tierra Patagonia. There is a, an additional cost to, to undertake a boat trip to reach to uh, Grey Glacier. Okay, you've got the stunning uh, landscapes here, looking across the Lago Pewe, Lake Pewe, to the to the horns, and you've also got the, the peaks cropping up in the background of Torres del Paine there. Okay, so in that area, it's all about the activities. Now you don't have to be super fit. There's lots of different options available from horse riding, bike riding, hiking, or just um, visiting to see places within the national park taking the true beauty of Chilean Patagonia. Okay, um, now we're going to be talking a little bit about the Tierra Patagonia Hotel. This is one of three uh, Tierra properties that are located throughout Chile. Um, Atacama in the northern part of Chile, in Chiloé Island in the central or the Lake District area of Chile, and also Tierra Patagonia, located just outside the boundaries of Torres del Paine National Park. The hotel's themselves are uh, known for their architecture and just absolute wow factor. Due to the to the stunning location here where the hotel's located, um, looking out to Torres del Paine in the background here um, and looking over the lake here. So absolutely stunning views from all um, rooms within the hotel. Okay. The location, uh, you're only, as I mentioned, one hour from Puerto Natales Airport, four hours from Puerto Arenas, um, and once you travel in, you're only just sort of 10 minutes outside the National Park. So from there, it's very easy to access the National Park from either of the two um, nearby gates to reach to and be transported to the starting point for all of the excursions you can undertake. Okay, the hotel, as I mentioned, <coughs> Architecturally beautiful and using a lot of the, the local timbers and a lot of the local uh, materials for the construction. And it's sort of looking at it from 100 metres, 200 metres away, you can hardly even see it on the landscape. So it blends in so perfectly on the use of the natural materials. It's very warm, 
and friendly, um, huge big open areas where you can sort of interact with other travellers there, make yourself at home. It's a very sort of what you call a, a homely type of environment with great social areas so you can sit down, you can have a drink, you can talk to others and this huge map over in the background where the guides will go through and outline the various different excursions that you can undertake on a daily basis. The hotel itself has um, three suites, 34 superior rooms, um, and you've got the stand and three standard rooms, um, all looking out across Lake San Amento to the Tower Stel Forest of Tano Massive. Okay, so in the suites they have been converted to family rooms, so they've got an upstairs living area, downstairs bedroom. Um, so five of those are interconnecting, so you have a, a maximum of six people in those. Okay, in the rooms, as I mentioned, the big picture windows looking out to Torres del Pano in the background. It's only this, something that you're after. It's only the standard rooms that have the bathrooms available or bathtubs in the main areas. Um, the others located in the actual rooms. The hotel um, operates an all-inclusive program, so all of your food and drinks are included with the chefs uh, preparing dishes from the local Patagonian cuisine using local products um, and a blend of Chilean and Tunisian type of foods, beautiful areas to sit around um, to relax around the fire after a cold day. Now, to visit to Torres del Pano and to the southern region of Chile, it's best done in the months and the operational months of the hotel, ironically, which is sort of October through to the end of May. Okay. During that time, you've got the, the long daylight hours and you've got slightly warmer temperatures, although it is a place where they can um, suffer from the extremes of temperature and quite windy conditions. So I always remember to pack your woolies or pack your thermals before travelling to um, the southern regions of Chile. Whilst you're there, you can also relax and pamper yourself. They've got the spa there, once again looking out towards the National Park. Um, you can see the wildlife in the background from some photos, the Wanakos, and they offer full treatment services um, from spas to saunas to massages, and of course the um, swimming pool with a view. Variety of different excursions that are available from the um, hotel um, include the horses here, or with um, the local gauchos or the local cowboys, um, so it's all done directly from the hotel. Wherever possible, they, they keep everything as sustainable as possible, trying to, to look after the environment and um, not do any damage to the beautiful surrounding areas, doing their best to sort of maintain and improve on those surroundings. Okay, so the adventures and the excursions, uh, they have a variety of, of guides who are um, working for the hotel, so they can provide um, daily excursions and each day you get to choose from the excursion menu basically which will be all explained to you by the guides whether you're wishing to undertake a variety of half day excursions, um, hiking, visiting to the waterfalls, the glaciers, um, hiking through the forest or through the plains or off um, on special interest type of trips where you might be bird watching, um, seeking out the pubers, horse riding um, or, or just taking in the beautiful scenery. Okay, all of the, all of the programs um, within the hotel are all inclusive. So you've got all of your um, transfers to and from the airport, your accommodations, your, your drinks, your food, and your excursions throughout your stay there. Generally recommend a four night stay within there. But that can be extended depending on your, your time frames um, and interest in the area. Anywhere up to seven nights can easily be spent exploring the National Park and the surrounding areas um, from your start at Tierra Patagonia. Okay, the National Park itself is um, beautiful with the hotel located just outside the National Park and probably the main and most interesting um, hikes that people tend to do, you'll, you'll often hear about people talk about the, the W Walk. So the W Walk is essentially um, the Torres del Parme Walk across the top of Margo and Norton's Col. Valley Frances and also the Grand Glacier. So whilst that's separated up and you hear the, the double trek, you the most famous treks, but you don't have to camp out and um, stay away for the night. You can do those all on a day-to-day -day basis, doing the Towers one walk, doing the Grand Glacier bed by boat or boat hiking another day, 
and the lower front surface. So this is uh, just some of the excursions. You can do walks in the Laguna Azul area. You can do uh, walks up to Lake Pico. You can do the, the boat trip up Grey Glacier, walks around um, around the hotel. There's, there's hikes where you can go to take in the waterfalls of Salto Grande, um, to the viewpoints of go over the lakes towards the, the horns. There's a variety of walks, including points where you can see Andean condors taking the views. Absolutely fantastic. Um, seven days, well, I'm actually not fair enough. So certainly plenty to see and do within the National Park and the surrounding areas. The tours that you undertake are fully guided, but whether you're on a, on a horse or a monkey, you will have guides and transportation um, to and from, and lunches will be provided for you to take along with you to undertake the bearing excursion. So generally I recommend you sort of alternate your days where you Doing something a little bit more challenging, then have a, a more restful day, day then a, a shorter hike or a boat trip or something like that. And then the next day, trying to, to do something a little bit more challenging and um, reach to a different part. Uh, okay, there is the, the, the boat ride up to the glaciers, there's the, the hikes, the French Valley. Um, if you're lucky enough, you might be able to, to spot some pumas if you're into photography. Um, if you don't spot the humans, you'll definitely see the rears and the monarchos, possibly foxes, armadillos, and new condors, and a variety of other bird life. Okay, so the horse riding, um, whether you're experienced, inexperienced, there's, um, there's rides available for everyone, whether it's a, a gentle ride through the countryside or going passing through rivers and streams, you've got the, the local um, monarchos, sorry, the, <laughs> the local gauchos. Um, to take you on the, on the horse rides throughout the countryside. Okay, and finally, as I mentioned, there are some excursions that have an additional cost, such as the boat trip to Grey Glacier, or if you're wishing to undertake something such as um, fishing in this region. There's a, a couple of wonderful promotions on or available at the moment um, for the Tierra properties, not just the Tierra Patagonia, but also combining stays with um, Tierra Ascama and Tierra Chiloé. And if you book a seven-night program combining any of the two Tierra properties, you'll receive a $1,000 um, discount on the, on the two, on the total um, program including the two stays, as well as a free night in Santiago. Okay, and there's the, which is a, a wonderful program, um, and great value is if you're combining or a taste of chili program where you're combining 10 nights, booking 10 nights in any tier of properties, so for example, four nights in Tierra Patagonia, three nights in Tierra Chile, and three nights in Tierra Atacama, that adds up to your 10 nights, and with that, um, you get a free night in Santiago, as well as a um, just heavily discounted rate. Okay, so to give an example, the, the, the Taste of Chili style program normally has a, a value price of 13100 With this um, with this present promotion, there is a saving of around $3,600, so it comes in around 9000 $419 for that program. So um, a great opportunity to explore some of the beautiful regions of Chile and combining three tier of properties. Okay, so that gives a, a little bit of information about um, not only Torres del Parme, but also the Contours Travel. Um, Contours Travel operates and books um, land arrangements throughout South America, Central America, Mexico, Cuba and the Caribbean. Antarctica, as shown on our little map there. So you can always get in contact with us if you've got any queries about Tierra Patagonia or the other Tierra properties in Chile or any land arrangements and assistance that you need for South America. Okay, so we've been operating for over 40 years, so we believe ourselves to be experts in um, Latin America. Okay, so as we draw to the end of our webinar now, um, to go into the, to take the opportunity to go into the draw for one of our films, we just send an answer to the above question, how many properties does Tierra 
hotels operate in Chile. Send us an email to the email address and, and um, with a correct answer, you'll go into the draw to visit one, join one of our funeral trips. Thank you very much for your time, Tony. I hope you've enjoyed the webinar.